Mercedes had to react because recently BMW brought out the X7 facelift with a huge front grille. Well, then Mercedes said, hold my beer, we bring the Mercedes GLS facelift. Here with Thomas and Autogefühl in 4K, full screen, full length. Let's go. And of course, obvious thing, this front grille. Before it was rather classic, a little bit more subtle. Now definitely more screaming out. A little bit also Audi single frame grille, like the outside part. This is Thomas with Autogefühl in 4K, full screen, full length. And full length here means 5 meters when you want, or 205 inches. Oh, the cheerleaders here are also testing the vehicles. Well, today you've maybe seen we're in Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta where also the Falcons are playing football, of course. And yeah, it's a really great venue here for these vehicles. Pretty exciting. New wheels choices. Also, these ones are the biggest ones. 23 inch, really massive in the styling. In the rear, the facelift brings these new tail lamps or the signature here in three dimensional style. Works very well. And also from the rear, once again, this Alpine gray color. AMG Line also gets the black contrast in the lower part and out of the fake exhaust police is always there for you. Also in the US as the fake exhaust cops because this is a clear case for it. And now to the true AMG model. This is the GLC 63 and also receives a new front grille and the huge vertical fins in there, more prominent signing. The 63 GLS now starts with bigger wheels, 21 inch already, but here you can also of course get the 23 inch wheels. In this case here with this more aerodynamic styling, this will split opinions, won't it? And the GLS, no matter which one AMG or not, you can always get with these side steps here for a more more prominent look as well. And in the AMG version, the 63 in the rear, you get this diffuser style and whoa, another case for the Alto Gefühl fake exhaust cops because on the outside it looks really massive, but the real exhaust are on the inside. Top sporty end is the GLS 63, the AMG. Top luxury end is here the Maybach version. Listen and repeat, Mercedes Maybach and not Maybach. So we in Germany, we have this thing with the, yeah, I don't know. I grew up with it. <laughs> and here you can see the side design elements are new with the Maybach logo. That's very interesting. And this grill with the lot of vertical fins. It's just that here, because you need this sensor area there, the sensor is most visible here in the Maybach version in the front. But you here get this typical Mercedes star on top still. Side of the Maybach is special because where you don't see the side step yet, but when you open the door here, well, look at these. These are large and then you can, for example, also access the rear because that's what the Maybach is all about. Soon more to that. The Maybach version is not too different in the rear. Here we can see the real naming for it. It's GLS 600 Maybach. 600 indicating something of the power. Let's dig deeper into the engine specs. In Europe, you can also get the three liter six cylinder diesels. You can all see one here, but the main engine will be the GLS 450, the three liter six cylinder petrol engine, 381 horsepower. And then you can also go a little bit higher with the GLS 580, the four liter V8. And that is then also base for the even stronger top versions. The AMG GLS 63 gets the 4 liter V8 bi turbo, 612 horsepower plus this mild hybrid boost. 5.2 seconds is then the acceleration figure. All have all wheel drive, of course, with a rear wheel bias. And the AMG now gets the AMG badge on top of the hood. The Maybach also gets the 4 liter V8 just with 560 horsepower, but the acceleration figure at 4.2 seconds is the same. And here have all the three key fobs, the AMG, the normal one and the Maybach. The Maybach one is just different at the rear part. AMG looks plain also in the rear. So which one would you go for? Now to the interior. First of all, door closing sound. Mm, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? We also have the soft close option here already for the normal GLS. Inside of the doors, I like this one here because here they still move in the very all new Mercedes models. You don't have a haptic feedback for these anymore. Here you still have nice matte wood here. Then news with the steering wheel. This is like an exclusive steering wheel where you have the shiny surface at the side. But also on the inside, you have more hashtag capacitive BS now. This one 
button field. Not sure if that's a useful upgrade or rather downgrade, I have to say. Seats in the 450, you can also get an Arctic or MB Tex if you want to go animal free. In the higher versions, it's actually not possible. But the seating comfort here is, of course, with this you know, command driving position, is really good comfort in the front. And with 189 or 6 for 2, you still have a lot of headroom left, even though you went for the panoramic roof here. Interior cockpit overview. This dual screen is very well integrated, I feel. A lot of stress here design was on the air vents and matte wood. Nice, we still have manual climate unit with nice clicking sound and you get updated infotainment now. I feel that the infotainment is now faster, so quicker reactions, more responsive. And you have this new off-road view here, including the off-road camera with a transparent bonnet feature. And if I would move forward, then this area would also be covered with an image, just a past image and the image around is live. There you can also see basically that something underneath the tires or something, you know. And in the instruments, you have more choices here. For example, new visualizations also with this off-road mode that looks really spectacular. Or you would rather go for the classic stylings like here and sport or understated. They are sport view, why not? Middle console here in this case also with a lot of nice matte wood. Slide this one open and you have the cup holders and inductive charging field. You also have the heated and cooling function here, or cooling and he cooling and heating. That's the way. This is the way. <laughs> and then this touchpad here, you can not only control the touchscreen by a touch, you can also use this one here, also possible. This is the drive mode selector. You can go sports mode or normal mode run here. And you can lower the air suspension here or put it higher for off-road use. Interior of the AMG, the GLS 63. Well, the main difference is the steering wheel because you have here this two horizontal spoke design, but also new with the face of here with the capacitive touch buttons. Cool that you can pick the driving mode directly at the steering wheel. That's my favorite feature, definitely. And also here, a microfiber side for the steering wheel. Here, you can also see very well how the ambient lighting plays a role. Of course, you can get it also for normal GLS versions. Also here and also underneath the screen. Maybach interior. Also, when you access the driver's door, you can see here these retractable side steps. They fold out. Look at that. Opening the door and there we go. And that's then you know, giving you easier access inside of the door. You can see here you can get exclusive decor materials or also new stylings. This also the two-tone scheme for the steering wheel. But the rest of the differences are in the front. Not so dramatic. Rear seating, you can see this is the setup with the through bench that goes all the way through. You can also opt for a captain seat setup. Then you would have the individual seats left and right. So depending on which seat configuration you need or want. Leg room here to the front seat is totally fine. Really so more than sufficient. A lot of space and also headroom for the rear passengers, no problem. You can also get rear entertainment here, but maybe nowadays you would rather just put your own iPad here. Well, what's your take on that? Please tell me in the comments. And the seat bench goes a little bit backward. Uh, you can also adjust, for example, here front and back. Also the back part of the seat, also electronically adjustable and everything will also be able to, you know, to fold them electronically from the trunk. In the middle part, well, there's a small middle tunnel, but you can sit comfortably also on the middle part. So this is indeed um, for a lot of people on the inside, the biggest Mercedes SUV model. Here, this middle part, you can also fold down. More screens are available. They're optional, inductive charging pad and so on. But even more luxurious, it will soon be in the Maybach version. To access the third seating row, there's a button right here. And then you can fold this whole thing. You see here the front seats move forward as well. And this one goes up. And then you can crouch to the rear. Well, if you have the captain seat set up, you can also uh, go through the middle then to the last seating row. But the question is always how much space is left then. See, this way I could still sit in the third row. But then in the second row, there's hardly any leg room left. Maybach version in the rear, the GLS, have the champagne cooler, the fridge in the rear. And then you have this split seat, middle console. You can also fold down these tables. For example, then you can um, you know, switch them around right here. Be careful with the rear seat entertainment. And then for your laptop, for example, that is quite, quite cool. And then the most impressive feature is 
putting everything for maximum space. There's a button here also, and then the front seat goes forward. Nice ambient lighting integration here as well. And also the footrest comes up. And of course, when you have manners, take a few shoes. <laughs> and then you can also enjoy this calf rest here. Wow, this is pretty cool indeed. These microfiber cushions are my favorite. Trunk area here in the seven seater configuration, some more space underneath. And then we have this magic button here for all in the rear. And this actually, whoa, we've seen that. <laughs> Folds down the head restraints and then everything goes flat. Wow, that went really quick, didn't it? So you can also remove this top part here then manually. And there we go, wow. And one more time when we fold everything up again, that looks also pretty cool, doesn't it? Which one would you go for? Tell me in the comments. My favorite is indeed this new Alpine gray color with a GLS 450 then. I would go for that one. That would be my spec for today. And then also with the Artigo MB Techs on the interior. And now check out the BMW X7 review or if you want to see this one driving, GLS driving review with the pre-facelift, you can also compare the changes.